Everybody send a yellow dog running around here. <laughs> Good evening again, Democrats. It is my honor tonight, or this afternoon, to nominate a lady that uh, has done a tremendous job. There are some county chairs around our state that will stand up and tell you what she has been able to do in their county. We have 159 counties in our state. Two to three years ago, less than 100 had an active Democratic Party. Today, we have over 100 that actually have meetings, actually have bylaws, actually know the reports that they have to fill out. Sarah Todd has been in so many counties, I, I can't tell you. I started to tell her when she asked me to nominate her, uh, let's bring all these county chairs in that you have helped. And we'll have them standing up, ready to hooray you when you get up. And she said, no, no, no. She said, you tell them what I have done and what I plan to continue to do. We have great candidates in this race. And I think they're all saying the same thing. The county parties are the backbone of the state Democratic Party. Can I get an email? Sarah Todd is a proven worker to get into her car, to go to the gas station and take her money and put the gas in her car to go to South Georgia or North Georgia or West Georgia or East Georgia to help to help existing parties who didn't realize they had to fill out some report to give to the state party on a particular given time and to help them to understand what a county party is supposed to be doing to build in their county. She's a proven leader. She's a, a, a lady that will bend over backwards to make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Democrats, I ask you to let's get the vote to someone that has already proven they know how to do the job and they will do the job. Thank you. Good evening, Georgia Democrats. Since being uh, a state committee member and certainly since being elected the second congressional district chairperson, Bring you greetings from the second congressional district, home of First Lady Rosalind Carter and her husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since being CD chair, I've had the opportunity to work with Ms. Sarah Todd uh, to help bring counties in line as well as create new counties. Just want to stand to second the nomination. Just to urge you to let you know that she is visible in Southwest Georgia. She comes whenever we ask her to come. And uh, what's important to me is that she will answer the telephone and she will reply to text and email. And she does so graciously regardless of what the issue is. I'm happy and proud for the plethora of reasons to second the nomination of Sarah Todd to continue to improve the office of vice chair Congressional District Chairperson of Zane County, Arizona. Thank you. Well, we have so much to say in such a short amount of time, so First of all, good afternoon, my friends. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Four years ago, nearly to the day, I stood before you and pledged to work with you to strengthen our existing parties by providing training and support and to work with our Congressional District Chair to go into counties that did not have a functioning committee and help create strong, vibrant parties that meet the needs of Democrats in the community. And working together, we've done just that. When I stepped into this role, we had roughly 60 counties that had a committee that functioned in various states of operation. 
Today, I am proud to say that because of the work that we've done together, we have approximately 137 that are either fully chartered or are in the <laughs> to try to get a sense of where we stood as a party. It didn't take very long, and I was deeply troubled by what I found, or more exactly by what I didn't find. Our paper files were spotty at best, and our digital files weren't any better. After finding a huge box of missing paperwork, we were able to organize our hard copy filing system, and we made sure that for every piece of actual paper we had, we had a digital copy too. Now having accurate files is especially important since I restarted our county committee certification process that's required by Georgia's election code. As I was the chairwoman for the Newton County Democratic Committee for 10 years, I was aware of the process. I diligently put together a package of some things every year and sent it in. But not everyone did this, and there was certainly no consistency as to what was sent in. So I oversaw the completion of templates for documentation that's required. The goal was to make it as simple as possible while getting all the necessary information that's required by law, and I think our committees will agree that we did just that. I've read everything that has been submitted for the last four years, and I can tell you that this one simple act has made a world of difference in knowing what goes on through our accounting network. The other thing I did when I first stepped into this role was begin traveling throughout the state to see how our counties conducted themselves. The only consistent thing I found was the inconsistency. No one did anything alike. So many of our counties have been left to their own devices for so long that they developed their own way of doing things. As a result of my travels, I began planning a training that became the Georgia Blue School, where we would teach our counties how to be successful in their own right. Our inaugural training was open to all county officers for them to learn how to perform their roles. As I've told so many of you before, it's hard to do your job when you don't know what the job entails. I'm immensely proud to say that hundreds of our county committee members have completed training sessions on numerous subjects, and I'm proud to have facilitated these gatherings of people from all corners of the state who get together to share their ideas and their best practices of what works for them. I will continue to do the Blue School while expanding its reach through the technology that's available to us. We should not expect our members to travel hours across the state for a training that can be done using a webinar format. I will work with our digital team to ensure that this becomes a reality. I will also continue to hold the trainings in the districts as I have done in the past. While I'm working with our digital team, I'll also be working closely with our communications team and new chairperson to completely revamp our communication system and how we disseminate information to our county committees. I can't tell you how many times someone has asked me to check to see if we had their email correct because they weren't getting anything from the state. And I would always tell them I'm sure it was fine because I wasn't getting anything either. <laughs> we have to do a better job as a party of communicating with each other. And I will work with our communications team to make this a reality as well. Another thing that must happen is that we have to update the DPG bylaws. Specifically, specifically the portion that deals directly with the counties themselves. We all know there are things that need to be changed. For example, it makes no sense whatsoever stop in the middle of campaign season to elect half the committee as we're required to do within 45 days of the general primary. This is just one of the many things that has to be updated. I could go on for a long time, but I want to really end with this. It's my goal to establish a speaker's bureau for our county committees. We have an amazing array of talent in our party, and we should have a roster of speakers that can be dispatched with reasonable notification to a county anywhere in the state to deliver a presentation to the general public. Since we're a party that attracts the best and the brightest, we can tap into our own membership and our elected officials for experts in their field. This is an extremely useful resource for our counties. Friends, I want to see the DPG be the strongest party in the nation, and we can only do that when we ensure that our foundation, our county committees, thrive. It's my hope that I've been a source of help to you and your county committee over these past four years. I'm grateful for the many opportunities I've had to serve you, and I would like to continue my service to this body as your vice chair for congressional district chairs and county committees.